Hey guys, welcome back to Bullhorn Beach. So today I'm going to make a hammock out of the cot and I'm, what I'm hoping for is that the hammock lays flat instead of like a banana. If you saw the video I, I put up uh, last week, uh, I, I stayed out in the hammock and I talked about doing this. So today we're going to give it a shot. Stay with me. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so I got my, my cot here. This is a mountain trails cot. We're going to get it out and uh, see if we can make a hammock out of it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make like a slip loop to go over this. Okay, so I can make this I can make this loop as big as I want to or as little as I want to, and then when I tighten it down, it'll bite down on itself. Okay. So take your runner, get it started in there. And you can see I got a, a little hole right there. That's normally, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's where the leg would go in and connect to the side runners. But what I'm going to do, I can find my loop here. I'll go ahead and put this loop through. Right here where it meets at the hole. Go ahead and run that runner down. get it to the very last hole down there by the way I got my buddy bike my buddy Mike over behind the camera right now he's got the camera running for me Mike I need you to come over here and do something for me though real quick if you don't mind where that where that uh, runner goes through that hole there go ahead and stick it down in the bottom of the tarp for me please there it went okay yeah I couldn't do all that at once Thanks, Mike. Okay, this is actually one of the legs that come with the the, the uh, cot itself. But I found it's really a lot easier to get this canvas over the legs using a little bit of leverage. Okay, so you saw how I put that in. I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done. It'll be the same, the same loop on both sides. We'll probably just get fast forwarded with some kind of corny music in the background. Okay, so what I want to do here is I took this rope, I fed it underneath the aluminum bar right there, and it will get tied around this stick. But before I do that, ouch. I want to take the other end. It's got a loop in it. We'll get that loop out. Take the other end of this, and we'll do the same thing here. Put this underneath the aluminum, grab it on the back side of the canvas, you can kind of work that through. It'd be better if you did this beforehand, before you got all of it put together. But these are just going to create stability because these aluminum pieces are not that strong by themselves. There's normally a leg sticking in right here. Okay, so now that we've got that in, I'm just going to tie a simple knot in here. Nothing, nothing fancy. And that will hold it. Do the same thing here. And then on the ends, I've already got the other three corners done. 
on the ends. The Canadian jam knot that we stuck in uh, right here goes under the aluminum and then over the stick here. And then you just cinch that down like that. Okay, one thing I did here was I cut a notch into this stick. The uh, this side piece is a little bit shorter. I'd like it to be out to about here. But what I'm hoping is that I can make this rope bite down in that notch like that. Then when we get it on the tree, it won't pull off of it. Okay guys, so now that we've got our got our cop together, I'm stepping on the ropes down here. I got these I got these sticks here cut. And all I did was put a little notch right in the ends of them to give the rope something to hold on to. These I'm gonna use as spreader bars at the foot and the head. Okay guys, so we got our paracord wrapped around the spreader bar here at the head. And what you want to do with this, you want to get this down as close as you can to the to the cot because there's a lot of stretch in this paracord. Really the, the mule tape is a better option all around if you can use all mule tape. I just don't have enough to do the whole thing. But you want to get this in the very center, you know, to make sure you're centered right there, and then tie off a loop in there that won't slip. Okay, so that's my working loop, and in this end, I'm just going to tie it off so uh, so it doesn't slip through. Okay, so that big loop is just going to hang there. Okay, so now we got our we got our working loop right here. Take the mule tape. I've got a loop tied up here for a trucker's hitch. take it through that and get it up off the ground a little more than knee high and get this tied off all right I put a double knot in, in that trucker's hitch just so it will hopefully stay there okay we don't do the same thing on the other end It should kind of flatten out a little bit. Okay, here is the test. We'll see if my butt ends up on the ground. Okay, I'm in the hammock, I'm off the ground, and I'm not bent like a banana. I believe I can sleep like this. These side cords are plenty tight and then that's helping to support those aluminum poles that go down the side. I like it. Okay, so what we did here, we got our mule tape, focus in on that. Mule tape comes down, we got our trucker's hitch. That's tied on to a loop with the paracord, which I don't recommend you use. Spreader bar. These side pieces are tied on to, let's see if I can get a picture of that. This is the aluminum pole that comes with the cot. And I just tied this on, it gives it support. You put weight on that and it helps to support those. Got a spreader bar here. We got a V with the paracord going up to this mule tape and the trucker's hitch. 
Okay guys, thanks for hanging out here at Bullhorn Beach. The hammock that doesn't bend like a banana. It's a lay flat hammock. I think I'm gonna enjoy that. Not something you would wanna carry out in the woods all over the place with you, because there's a lot of weight to it, but you can throw it together with pieces that are out here. Anyway guys, come back next week. I try to put a video up every Saturday if I can. Until then, get out in the woods. That sounds cool. Whatever you want to do. All right, we're recording right now. Oh! <laughs> I've already screwed up. Try that one again. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Oh! What happened? Okay. <laughs>